Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and author of Saving the World with the Home Garden. And today we just got back from a tour of Edgar Valdivia's food forest, where together me and over 300,000 of you did the tour of his over 100 rare fruit trees that he's got planted in his Simi Valley backyard food forest. And here we are at the end of January on the one rainy day of the year. And check out all of these fruit that we've returned home with from oranges to grapefruit and guava. And then most interestingly is this vanilla bean tree pod where you simply eat the outside pretty much cotton candy texture around each of these already growing seeds, which are gonna make an excellent addition to our backyard food forest. Today, you're gonna to be learning from not just fig growing, but fruit tree growing experts, Edgar Valdivia, as well as Paul Talley. Together, Paul Talley and Edgar Valdivia are donating four high quality varieties of fig cuttings for Ivory Organics fourth annual fig cutting giveaway, which we've obviously been doing for four consecutive years. And this year we hope to donate well over a thousand fig cuttings in the month of February. And notice on how you can win as we're gonna be giving away figs every single day in the month of February. We'll be going out on February 1st through our YouTube, as well as on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. So be sure to stay informed and connected for that valuable information as soon as it becomes made available so that these fig cuttings can be made a part of your food forest in the 2021 growing year. So enjoy this one-on-one -on -one lesson with Edgar Valdivia, someone I've personally been looking up to for many years, and I hope you will too. Enjoy these lessons. Hello guys. Today we're gonna to be talking about the yellow long neck fig. This fig became very popular in here in the United States. Actually, I've been growing this one for almost 20 years, and my was given to me by my friend, uh, Emery, this fig is very strong to raise the cold weather and the hot weather very good and grows very strong and produces a big figs. The figs are huge almost, so I would say a quarter of a pound each fig. It looks like a pear. And why we call it yellow long neck? Because it actually is elongated like a pear shape in the beginning. Once it's ripe, you know, oh, it's very delicious, very sweet, juicy, and uh, big. You know, you with one single fig, you can feel yourself because it feels you a lot. There's a big fig. They are very delicious. And normally, after when they, uh, November comes, like the cold weather, we still have some figs in the tree. The skin, actually the fig, kind of a yellowish brown. But normally in the hot weather, you know, in, in the season, the fig actually is green in the beginning and then becomes just a little yellow. When it's yellow and tastes so good. I would recommend this fig for everybody to grow. It grows easy tolerates the California weather very good with no problem at all. You can grow it from cuttings. You know, you get a, a, a cutting and then you let it dry for maybe uh, one week, so then become callous wherever you cut the fig, the, the branch. And then you put uh, just a little bit of hormone to be able to help with the root system and then you put it in one single gallon pot you know and use uh, don't use uh, to the soil too heavy because remember if you the, if the soil is too wet then the roots they will be getting rotten and don't will grow very good so try to keep up with uh, uh, mulch uh, with a lot of perlite so the water will run out and then you will get roots very easy. 
you know, uh, growing figs from cutting it is very sim simple and very easy. The only thing you need patience, but they will grow. And uh, then you can grow from seed too, because you know, sometimes I see and hear in my backyard, uh, the birds, they eat the figs and then they have their droppings and from those droppings, we have a voluntary figs plants they grow in from there and they you know you can graft those once they're growing or you can do anything what you want to do i want to tell you that actually now is uh january the first uh the january the 23rd of 2021 and uh i am a member of california red fruit growers and this month particular the january month magazine is having a very good pictures and talking about figs in California. So it's very nice magazine that is produced by the California Refugee twice every two months. So if you want to learn more about fruit trees, join the California Refugee Growers. That is a very good organization where they are a lot of people that they love to grow fruit trees they can share the knowledge with you about you know what i grow in here almost 80 different type of fruits you know i've been doing this as a hobby for 20 years already after i retire and uh, i'm really enjoying that's the best thing i ever did in my life because you know the good thing is when you grow your own plants you get the fruit after that and you taste it they so good because it's better than the one you buy in the, in the markets and then it's something that you really grow something that you did it yourself so you feel proud about it that you grow in a very good fruit and enjoy eating those wonderful fruits one of my favorite fruits that i have to tell you is very difficult to say which one is the favorite because all of them they have a particular taste all of them they are different you know, they are sweet, and other ones they are acid, and other ones they are different type of flavors. Also, I think in general, all the fruits are good. No matter what, you, the only thing you have to be sure that growing your backyard, the, the trees that you like to enjoy that particular fruit. Don't grow these trees because you just want to grow it. Grow the trees that you like to uh, eat and then you will enjoy it, share with your wife or your kids and your family. And it's something that keeps you busy, you know, after you get up from work with uh, all the driving you have in the freeway, so much tension, you come to your backyard and do just put water to your plants and check your garden and don't cost too much money. And then relax you, keeps your mind clean. And remember, trees, they never talk back to you. So you are the boss and they can grow the way you want it. Well, I hope so you're enjoying this uh, short video and uh, because we are talking about figs, you know, the IB Organic is a very good uh, corporation that is producing, fertilizing different type of products for your backyard. So I've been using those. I am very happy that uh, they are here having cuttings from our yellow long neck to be able to give it to you guys free so enjoy those cuttings grow them and later you will say oh my god ed was right he gave us a good fix take care of yourself enjoy it and be careful always with this coronavirus use mask always protect yourself goodbye Edgar's lovely wife and chairperson to the California Rare Fruit Growers, Pat Valdivia, did an excellent demonstration on what the characteristics are for the yellow long neck fig. And here are just some highlights from this lesson that you can find on Edgar Valdivia's YouTube channel. Check this out. The yellow long neck. The yellow long neck has been propagated through cuttings given to us and other members of California Rare Fruit Growers. I don't believe you can find it in the nurseries, but I'm not sure about that. It tastes really like honey. Just wonderful. All right, let's look at and see what one is like inside. Oh, 
little messy here. Okay, there it is inside. And I will give it my taste test. Hmm. Out of this world. So very sweet. Really, you cannot believe the taste of this fruit. To learn more about the yellow long neck fig, in addition to dragon fruit and so many more exotic fruits that are being grown by Edgar Valdivia, be sure to check out the Edgar Valdivia YouTube channel and also subscribe and it's free to join. And don't forget to hit the push bell notification to stay informed of his lessons as soon as they become made available. Edgar Valdivia is one of the leading educators in the California Rare Fruit Growers Forum, in addition to garden communities throughout Southern California. Be sure to stay tuned and be sure to follow his education as it becomes made available. And now hear and enjoy this one-on-one -on -one lesson with my other friend, Paul Talley. Hi, I'm Paul Talley. Uh, we're gonna give a little spiel on figs today. We're over at Edgar Valdivia's right now, and uh, these are his yellow long neck. We have three varieties of figs that I'm going to talk about today because those are the three that um, IV Organics is going to be distributing. Um, I'll start with the Marseille's Black VS. Uh, the, the VS stands for Vazil, uh, maybe mi mispronounced his name, but uh, a guy back east who was considered responsible for the distribution of that fig to a wide audience. Um, it's a black fig. Um, it, uh, it has a tendency to develop beautiful cracks in it, so you can see the white underlying um, uh, part of the portion of the fig. It's also extremely soft. It's a very soft fig. Um, I've had people specifically request that fig uh, when they were purchasing fruit because that's just what they preferred. The uh, very high quality fruit, um, it's considered a berry type, but it's not an exotic berry type. It's not going to give you that intense um, exotic berry like say a, a black Madeira or Figo Preto, you know, those kind of figs. It, um, but it is very, very good. On the um, Strawberry Vert, which is uh, an excellent quality fig, it's a uh, green fig with a red interior. And it, it's quite frankly, one of my favorites because um, in my climate, it dries down on the tree. Now, here you run into a situation where as the Marseille is black, uh, does not dry down well on the tree. It, the exterior of the skin uh, doesn't harden up. It's always soft. Whereas the strawberry vert, it hardens up, okay? And it dries down. You could start with a nice size uh, fig, um, and if you let it sit long enough, it will actually shrink to two thirds to half the size if you allow it, and it will hold on the tree. So for, for my purposes, uh, that's what I want. I don't want to have to uh, be concerned about picking a fig any specific day, and if it gets better, you know, as it's drying down on the tree, it's a major plus for me. Uh, the other uh, variety um, that uh, IV Organics is going to be distributing is uh, Figo Preto. Now, uh, Figo Preto has its origin uh, in San Diego. Uh, John, uh, uh, the old uh, Figs for Fun board, distributed it um, with Sue, I believe. Uh, they discovered it down there, said, oh, this is really good. And next thing you know, uh, they were uh, growing cuttings and selling plants. Um, it's another one of those that's an absolute must, like Black Madeira, for people in uh, Southern California where the heat is an issue. Um, because it will dry down on the tree. Now, as I said before, if you're the type of person who likes really soft food, uh, you know, like a soft fig, if you, you know, um, then 
that might not be the fig for you, but in terms of absolute flavor, I mean, it is, it, it's the bomb. Um, it also will hang uh, forever, uh, season probably, you know, for all practical purposes, I think mid-October, you're done uh, on that variety because uh, the once the heat stops, the flavors don't develop any further. It's not like, um, well, we're here collecting uh, yellow long neck also to distribute. Uh, yellow long neck will hang um, well into the winter. Uh, I picked them as late as uh, December here and they change color. <laughs> But the, you know, they'll get uh, um, multicolored, multi-hued, and it also is like a really, really soft fig, and there's no acid to it. There's very little acid to Marseille's Black VS either when it's ripened properly. So uh, some people just prefer that. Some people don't like any um, hard texture to their fruit. Whereas the uh, Marseille's Black VS, the uh, Yellow Long Neck, you know, I mean, they're just, there's no difficulty at all with, uh, with eating those. Uh, whereas the, uh, if you do not uh, hydrate the um, Strawberry Verge and the uh, Figo Preto, they will develop a, a tougher outer uh, skin, which will also protect it from insects. Um, you know, generally the, uh, uh, the green uh, fig beetle does not mess with those too much. They'd much rather go after them, say it's black, or this guy, the yellow long neck right here. Um, so anyway, have fun with them and uh, grow them out and happy figging. Thanks. Bye. special thank you to the fig hunter for visiting us last weekend and donating hundreds of fig cuttings towards the ivory organic fig cutting giveaway 4.0 and we are expecting about another half a dozen more contributors to be coming in within the next week and we'll be giving thanks to them as they arrive and it's still early in our fig collecting season as we start collecting fig cuttings in mid-january through early february and if you have some fig cuttings you'd like to share please reach out to us and you can start off by writing in the comments down below. And if you've got 10 or 20 or up to 50 fig cuttings, we'd love to get to know you and, um, and hopefully create an alliance where we can help benefit those seeking to get fig cuttings across the country. We look forward to receiving these cuttings and basically with these cuttings making delicious fruits that can be enjoyed from year after year, decade after decade for up to a century and more. What a treat. In the upcoming week, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to prune a fig tree, such as my 10-in-1 fig tree behind me, in addition to other figs that are here on the property. And also, I'm gonna be teaching you how to take your fig cuttings and propagate them for maximum success of making more fig trees. And last, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to transplant your fig trees once you've successfully rooted them. And once you've successfully rooted your fig cuttings, I'm also gonna be teaching you how to transplant your figs in addition to so much more. And so if you've enjoyed this lesson brought to you by Ivory Organics, be sure to like it and also share it with your gardening friends and family. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit the push bell notification to stay informed of all of the educational information as soon as it becomes made available. As always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening. Boy, this was fun. <laughs>